So, guys, you can see that this protest is not stopping anytime soon. The Nigerian youths have vowed that they will keep protesting until INEC meets their demand. And what is that demand? They want INEC to cancel this election and reschedule for a fresh election. They are also asking that the INEC chairman resigns and be prosecuted for selling the people's mandate. So when the final day arrived, we had no doubt in our hearts, in the person that always questioned truth that our voice must count. But nothing could bolster our belief like the assurances of Mr. President Muhammad Bukhari and the INEC chairman, Professor Yakub Mahmoud. Like you can see, they've taken this protest to the U.S. Embassy in Abuja. They are asking them to voice out, as in they shouldn't keep quiet when things are going wrong. They have to come out and condemn what has happened during this election, because the election does not represent the voice of the people. When I hate to announce to the American Embassy and to the whole America today, that in the hearts of some, all this has gone to waste. You may have seen the video of that of the diasporans who tore their passports, yes, their Nigerian passports. Some other Nigerians have done same to the fabric of our identity because the INEC chairman too, Professor Mahmoud Yaqub, chose to silence their voice. So guys, let me allow you watch this video in full. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. Please give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend it to others and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you. Yeah, people. Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 Nigeria people. Hey. 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 Thank you. It's been a long one and it's going to continue to be a long one because it's a long walk to victory. It's important and imperative to reiterate as we stand right here in America. This place is America. Yes. Yes, sir. And I want to let the whole world know that we cannot be tolerated or tainted. And so we will check one more time who we are, that we are neither APC nor PDP. We are not Labour Party, YPP or ADC. These are frustrated Nigerian people. These are hungry Nigerian people. These are a representation of several civil society, NGOs, group, support system, mothers, fathers, children, all kinds of people from all walks of life here today. We are all tribes, all religion, all region gathered here today. This is symbolic because on the collective, especially within Abuja, we have been here before, we've been different places, but as a collective, this is a seven day together as a people. And so it represent perfection today as well today. And because we have not been able to be broken, infiltrated, we want to reiterate the commitment that we are seeking for. Not seeing the process of hope. This is our press statement addressed to the Honorable Mary Brett Leonard, Ambassador of the United States of America on 1075 Diplomatic Tribe Central Business District here in Abuja. Today, we mourn, today we mourn the demise of credibility, the rape of trust, the abuse of will. Today, we stand in the ruins of transparency, on the environment table of inclusion of equity and accountability. Today, we are voices stoneless stripped of the music of choice. Today, we are Nigerians broken calling on INEC to count our votes. On the 25th of February 2023, Nigerians troop to their polling units with one mission, to cast their votes and choose their next leaders. We will qualify for this exercise by participating in the year-long continuous voter registration, which witnessed an unprecedented spike has never been seen before in any election since 1999. 
Months later, they returned to collect their permanent voter's card. I went home with the commitment to participate and engage with the process. The chains of apathy was broken, tossed to the belly of oblivion. We were free, free to experience the full potential of our Nigerianness. Our vital lines were unbroken in ideology. They held us together in trust. They washed us like water in truth. They kept us alive. We breathed the full breath of what being citizens should be in a progressive secular society. So when the final day arrived, we had no doubt in our hearts, in the person that always questioned truth that our voice must count. But nothing could bolster our belief like the assurances of Mr. President Muhammad Bari and the INEC Chairman Professor Yaqub Mahmoud. Recall that over a year ago, President Mohamed Buhari appended his signature to the Electoral Act Amendment Bill of 2022. The first day that created that appointment can well acclaim recognition as one of the most powerful in our recent history due to its unbroken allegiance to the Nigerian spirit. On that day, we were not Igbo, Hausa, nor Yoruba. We were not ethnic, thief, or Urobo. No, we were not baggy. Kanuri or Ijo, on that day we were Nigerians full of the positive energies of our land. Isn't that so? Yeah. Well, I hate to announce to the American Embassy and to the whole America today that in the hearts of some, all this has gone to waste. You may have seen the video of, Na of the diasporans who tore their passports. Yes, their Nigerian passports. Some other Nigerians have done same to the fabric of our identity because the INEC chairman too, Professor Mahmoud Yaqub, chose to silence their voice. So I ask, what is the value of democracy in the process that recruits its leaders consistently lack credibility? Perhaps the answer is at the International Conference Center where Professor Yaqub Mahmoud began, sustained and concluded the coalition and declaration of a candidate as winner of the presidential election based on falsehood, contravening the guidelines and the electoral act. It is most disturbing that this was done in the full glare of the world. Never has our democracy been so sorely abused by any citizens in, the, in either public or private service. Professor Yaqub Mahmoud has raised the power of impunity that will cost our country many years of electoral excellence to correct. This was not the electronic transmission he promised Nigerians at, at the world at Chatham House. Professor Yaqub Mahmoud has lied to Nigerians yes. and abused our right of choice. Yes. We hereby pass a vote of no confidence yes. and we call for his immediate sack and prosecution. Yes. We cannot afford to continue the culture of performance of lawlessness without consequences. Yes. We are strong as our laws and tall as our institutions. We cannot afford to defend any lower than this. We therefore call on President Mohamed Buhari and the American Embassy and all the international community. What we know are committed to free and fair election. And as stated by Mohamed Buhari, who is engraved in the legacy of his electoral act. 2022 to initiate process and procedure that will bring Nigerians under the control of an interim government because we do not want this reign to continue beyond the time limits that it has. No. Yeah. For the resolution, until the resolution of all the litigations pertaining to the conduct of the February 25th presidential election, we have extended this call to you because of the proven commitment of the American people and government to justice, equity, and fair play, which you demonstrated by your acknowledgement that the 2023 presidential election failed to meet the expectations of Nigerians. We are hopeful, even as you conclude your diplomatic mission in the country this month, that you'll be a voice of reason in the political quagmire that Professor Mahmoud Yaqub has voiced in our country. We therefore call for the sanction of Professor Mahmoud Yaqub and all the electoral commissioners and other INEC officials 
Now we left US Embassy. We did Canada Embassy. Now we don't leave US Embassy and Britain for high commissioner.
Command by struggle, freedom come by struggle, by struggle, freedom come, freedom come by struggle, by struggle, freedom come by struggle, by struggle, freedom come. When I remember the kill is water run away, my eye. Nigerian people, Great. those who are not tired to fight for the cause of justice, Great. those who are standing on equity and truth, Great. young Nigerian people, Great. women of Africa, are you here? Yes. Yes. Young people of Africa, are you here? Yes. For us, they kill us. Have you not been so? No! Have you not been so? No! Not be with them, go to buy, say we'll be outside. Not be for good. Not be us. Have you not been us? No! Are we not Christians? We are. Are we not Muslims? We are. Are we not different people? We are. Are we not black and white and all colors? We are. Are we not black and white and all colors? We are. These bad, bad people, their end has come. We are here in the Canadian Embassy today. We are only going to read our one, two, three point agenda. In my class alone, just in my class alone, of 2002, after I left university, there are at least 85 of us in Canada alone. If in my class alone there are 85, what is left in Nigeria? There is a community. It means that some people have decided that they are going to make our country a zoo. Yes! Are we going to agree? No! no. Are we going to agree? No. no! Is it not in this country a few days ago that some people were chased out of Polymer because they are not a particular language? Yes! Is it not in this country in River State that people were shot pa, 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 down? Yes! yes. It happened. Was ballot box is not snatched? You did not! Was it not grabbed? You did not! Did you not run away with it? They ran away! That was the order of the day. That was the order of the election. They ran away with it. If we allow what is happening to continue, if we allow the 2023 general election to succeed, you know what we are saying? We are saying that Boko Haram, you have done right. Terrorists, you have done right. Kidnappers, you have done right. Therefore, we pass a vote of no confidence on the chairman of INEC. Yeah. Yeah.
have been saying, Einek is holy. Yes. It's not Einek that is holy, it's Mahmoud that is holy. Yes. Just like, look at him. Traffic light. Mahmoud say red means to go. <laughs> so it's a fraud because he has destroyed our electoral laws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, he said that Mahmoud is right. That I know, even though the Nigerian law says that uh, you have to transfer votes, that it is Mahmoud that will decide how to transfer votes. Let me explain that to you. That is why I said our institution is not what is bad. It is in person. Yeah. What this man is saying is that if Mahmoud feels whatever he feels he can do. That is why you see in this country some pastors are useless while some pastors are good. Some imams are useless while some imams are good. Some people are useless and some people are good. That's why we say we are not going to do generalization again. If somebody does something, eh? If, if if Shehu kills a mega, we will not say full and he kills a mega. Is somebody hearing me? Yes. yes. If Tunde kills Tony, we will not say Yoruba kills 
Because we are educated people, yes. we understand what we are supposed to do. Yes. We are teaching people so. Yes. That is why the people that today, because we are, this is the seventh day, we have been meeting the Unity Party, right? Yes. They decided that they labeled us. Yes. And we, we are not standing for anybody. anybody. Fight, fight, fight. We, are, we, are, we are not for anybody, we are for everybody. Yes. Yes. Anybody that is standing on truth, we are for him. Yes. Yes. Anybody that is standing on the constitution of Nigeria, we are for him. Yes. Yes. And so therefore today, the first thing we are saying, among other things, is that let President Muhammad Bubuari, and we are telling the Canadian people because they have been friendly, they have been checking on you, and we want to say to you, the same way they said that there is irregularities in our election. We thank you for saying that. But you must go beyond that. All these people that are going to hide in Canada, we have come to tell you to sanction them. Cancel their visa. You don't let them go. Report them. Yes. Yes. Bring them back to Nigeria. We want them to be prosecuted and jailed in Nigeria. We will not give them the opportunity to be jailed like a young man that went to be jailed in this area. We don't want a waste that you are over again. That one. Hush puppy. Hush puppy. Hush puppy. Hush puppy. Oh, a queer madu. We prepare Nigerian prison for them. Mosquito day. We want a cancellation of the 2023 general election. Yes! Yes! People were suppressed. Data were not transferred. Yes. Every lawlessness happened. Yes. We did not have an election. Yes. We had Mahmoud. Criminal. Selection. Selection. Mahmoud selection. Yes. We reject it. In position. We reject it. Yes. We are also saying to because Nigeria is a very rich nation. Uh, richer than even most of the country that we are coming to report. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, we are saying that all the people that were brutalized, all the people that were suppressed, all the people that were rejected, all the people that were chased and caught in different places, let Nigeria compensate them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And let the let, let person, because we we because the moment why we don't want you to continue beyond your time. Yes. The only thing you owe us is to ensure that legality is exposed in this country. Yes. So because you understand that, you know, Mabu 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 can lead to all that is when you want to say, time don't go. That's why we say, put a government in place who will decide how the next election will be done. Yes. And will conduct it so that we can have a free yes. yeah. election. Yes. So that the yes. can choose their leaders. Yes. So Canadian members, we are telling you, thank you for what you have said, but go beyond that. This is why we will march. This is why we will sing. Yes. This is why we will come out. This is why we will continue to march until the lighting is done. Yes. Because we are standing on legality, on justice, on the constitution of Nigeria, yes. and on the blood of everyone that has died in this 2023 general election. That's why we will kneel down and we will sing our prayer. Mm. People cannot come out and vote, and at the end of the day, you will not allow their voice, you will not allow their votes to count. We all know that our votes didn't count. Our votes didn't count. We know how, when it got to the presidential election, we were told that, that there was no network. Some people said they didn't have the password, you know, to upload results. This happened across Nigeria, not just in few states, but across Nigeria. The presidential election, the presidential results were not 
uploaded and Nigerians are asking the INEC chairman why? Why did this happen? That he has to come and explain to the Nigerian people. So guys, you can see what is happening and kudos to the Nigerian youths. Honestly, they keep storming the streets every day until INEC meets their demand. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. Please give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend it to others. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you.